Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and I think I know uh, how the Alien Blaster works. Um, I looked it up, and it either has to be based on your luck, or they said try back at level 20 if it's not showing up. So we'll head back at level 20. We're level 16 currently. We will get to level 20 in the near future. Uh, after we finish up this, we will uh, we'll be heading down to the Glowing Sea to see about finding Virgil. And uh, there are some areas down there. I don't know really if I'll explore them. I don't believe there's much down there. There's just a lot of time you spend messing with it. So probably not mess with any of the stuff down there. I think there is one set of power armor. There's a, maybe one unique legendary weapon. And a couple of books, I think. A couple of magazines. But other than that, I don't think there's anything else. And for the amount of stuff you have to clear out and a the amount of areas you have to look in... I personally don't think it's really that worth it, but that's just my honest opinion. I don't really... It could be worth it to you uh, easily. Like, I understand how it's worth it to some people to... It was worth it to me on my first playthrough. Not so much worth it this time. Um, I'm trying to think how many episodes it would have been if I would have uploaded my first one. It would have been minimum 75 episodes, but I haven't technically beat the game with the time played that I have, so it probably would have been over 100, I think. I think it would have easily eclipsed 100, especially would have, it would have eclipsed 150 if I would have included all the building that I did. That's just crazy. That is just crazy. I would have... You gotta be effing kidding me with that. Um, I definitely would have been doing multiple episodes per day, because... Yeah, good night. Why is this bathroom so dark? Okay, you know what? We're gonna roll with this because I think it's a one-shot kill to him anyway. Hey, I swear I must. <laughs> yep. Dude, this is a joke. That this is a one-shot kill. It's not. I'm, I think I'm playing on the normal difficulty, so it's not like. What would it be if I was on the easiest? Like this is Piper. Piper, go through the damn door. Oh my gosh, I would... I listen to different stuff like music and stuff like record. And... <laughs> what well, an ad just played. And it was the loudest thing ever. It scared me half to death. Anybody else? This is going to be so easy with this being a one-shot. I think I think that's why this is this, they they give you this quest early hoping you do it early, not what I did. I hello, honey. I'm home. Come here. Wow, what the heck? My stick just like had a freak out. All right, let me heal. Last thing I want to do is die to these guys. I love that. I love how you jab the stem backs into your leg in this game. Reminds me of... It, it really does. It reminds me of Bloodborne. Which is like the number one game that I want to... Actually, no, it's number two. I want to play Until Dawn more. But it's it's probably number two on the games I want to play, but I can't play because they're an exclusive for the console I don't have. And that's just why I want to get a PS4. I really think I might just buy one off of eBay over buying it at the store just simply because I'm only buying it for a select few games like it's not my console like I don't I don't really care about the whole console debate I just prefer my Xbox over PlayStation it's not really it's not really that I think it's better anymore I used to be one of those weirdos that was console console elitist or not elitist console that just what am I trying to say and I just Okay, good. That doesn't... I thought that took away one of your lives. Um, 
what's it called? One of the biased consoles towards your console. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I used to be one of those people that was like, actually, it it was really first of all, I just really liked the like Nintendo, and then I quickly it can't be clans. It's gotta be a flash. I mean, it can't be false. <laughs> I can't go. talk, dude. Okay, I don't want to activate these. These guys are too easy. I don't want to mess around. I missed. Okay, good night. Uh, but I used to be like that with Nintendo because when I was younger, I played so much Pokemon. I still play Pokemon. Like, I'll admit that. Like, Richard Sherman plays Pokemon. But... Um, I used to be all about, like, Game Boy and GameCube and all that, and then I got, or no, I was, I was Game Boy, then I was PlayStation 2, then I was, um, then I was, uh, GameCube. Where is this guy at? Where is this guy at? Oh, he's below me. I was like, what the? Okay. But then I was, uh, PlayStation, or I was GameCube, then I was, uh, the, then I was back Nintendo, and then I was Xbox 360, then for a while here I was, like, PC, but, yes. oh, here's a Grognak. Critical hits with unarmed, okay, that doesn't affect my character. Where is Piper? Oh. Sky! I don't know what that guy thought he was doing. Where is Piper? There are a ton of raiders here. Um, I was PC for a while when I was really into mods for XCOM. Uh, but I came back to Xbox One. I'll probably be Xbox. Like I'm not like I don't even know. I don't know why I said it. I I moved on from the whole. Oh, my console is better than yours. That stupid bullcrap like no one cares like that you think your console's better than mine it's really just personal preference on what you rather play pc is better like it did, but it all depends on your graphics and all that different stuff and your calibrations but um i really just i don't even care anymore it really just depends just play whatever console you like or just get them both <laughs> Like I'm gonna do. Then you don't have to worry about it. Just play whatever you want, whenever you want. There are some games that are better on some consoles opposed to other ones, like Resident, like the Re Resident Evil Remake, um, and Resident Evil Revelations 2. I know are better on the Xbox than the PlayStation, which makes no sense, because Resident Evil is, um. It, it just has always been better on the... I think Re Revelations 1... Res Resident Evil Revelations 1 is better on the on the PlayStation 3 than it was on the Xbox. But... I don't know. Usually the XCOM games are better on PlayStation than they are. But those two are all better. Those two are both better on the Xbox One. But, yeah. So stuff like that. Some of it just runs better on the other console. Uh, for whatever reason, the game designers just... What the heck? It won't let me loot this guy's body. I guess the... The, uh... The developers just chose to make one console better than the other. Let's go... Guess I'll drink these new Coca-Colas. Give me rads, but that's fine. Oh gosh, no one shoot me! I didn't think I'd take that much damage. Give me that noodle cup. I'm gonna drink two pure. I want to get my health back fast because I'm just out in the open right here. I feel like someone's gonna light me up. I think there's a guy in here because I didn't kill the guy. Oh, I did kill the guy, or Piper killed the guy probably. I hate this. They're doing like this work in my backyard, and I don't know what they're doing. They're like, I, I think they're preparing. Like, I'm not going out there and asking them. I don't care enough to do that. I don't want to go out and talk to the strange men in my backyard, but it's annoying. Because nothing looks weirder than a kid sitting in his room talking to himself, because that's what it looks like. <laughs> it just literally looks like I'm just sitting in here talking to myself. Did I grab the stuff out here? Nope. 
and I look I look like an idiot. I remember I, I think it was my other house that I was in and uh like the whole neighborhood was like we were all like good friends. Like the adults I guess were all good friends. We didn't have any like weird you know, sometimes but uh so everybody would just walk between each other's yards instead of like having to go the road because we lived on a lake and so like everybody would walk just walk around and it would be it'd be chill but i remember i was recording i think that was like madden 12 when I, that was that was like the beginning <laughs> i remember um one of my one of the people knocked on the window trying to because they were looking for my parents and they're like that that's they thought that's who i was talking to and i was like talking to myself and i was like oh this is awkward and it's a little bit more, like, uh, accepted now, like, YouTube and recording videos than it was back then, like, five years ago, or however long that was, so, um, so it, it, it was kind of weird back then. Did we clear this all out? Are we, are we good now? Are we good? Yeah, report your success. Okay, we're good. Let's head out of here. Uh, but I, I just always find it funny. I just always found that funny. Cause I was like in the middle of recording something, and they're like tapping on the window, looking for, looking to see who I was talking to, because they were looking for my parents. And it... <laughs> now it's not as weird. Now, now one of the guys even we had, I had a guy come out um, and switch out my TV box uh, with Directv to the to the one that can, I don't know, to, to a DVR. There we go. Instead of just a crappy regular box and. <laughs> Oh, uh, he was like, oh, you've got, uh, got a HD PVR. And I was like, yep. But let's talk to this guy. You find those Raiders? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Hey, I'll be right back. Okay, now I need you. Can I? Can I do? How do you? Hmm. Ah, oh, this person can't be. Oh, I gotta set up the stupid set. Is that unlocked from the beginning? Hold on. Is that settlement beacon allowed from the beginning? I don't even know what it's under. It's under power. Yeah, it is. So maybe you need two circuit, two crystal, six copper, 16 steel, or 10 steel, three ceramic, and one rubber. Where is their workbench? I want to take all their stuff. We're not building here, ever. Okay, so give me all this. Take all. All right, so we're going to quickly head on back to... Uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go to Red Rocket, then we're gonna go to, uh, Sanctuary and turn in the quest, but I wanna store all this junk. Because there's no point for me to hang on to it, it's just, it's just carry weight that I don't need. Just a bunch of extra weight that I don't need. I wish you could build these power armor stations, I don't know, maybe you can, but they look a whole lot better than the ones that I'm, that I have to use. If I could craft these power armor stations... Oh my gosh, my base would be dope. It would be awesome. But it looks alright. Not the base in this, but the, the mansion in my... I did show it. Um, if you look on my channel, it was a while ago, a couple months ago at this point. But did show that. Okay, let's go ahead and store. I've talked about the most random BS in this episode. Anything... I want to keep the cigarettes... All right, I want to set up the settlement or the recruitment beacon uh, because then I can, um, what am I trying to say? Then I can get, oh, I have a box full of weapons I need to sell. Is there a, was there a unique weapon in here? I see a unique weapon. No, but I have this all here that I can sell. I didn't even know that was there. You know what? Then I'll, I'll, I'll store this stuff there. For now. Then we don't have to go sell right now. There we go. 
All right. Let's go talk to Preston Garvey. And then we will continue. I wonder if there's anybody here that I can use to create a supply line. I doubt it. I don't think there is. I think you have to have like a brand new uh, person, like a person that you recruited, not like just any Joe Blow in the settlement, because I think they're kind of bound to the, those settlements. But I, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in sanctuary. Prepared for the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. Now, hold on. I think there is like one or two. And eh, maybe not. Mama Murphy. There's the Asian guy. The Vault Tech rep, Garvey. And okay, no, there isn't. There isn't some. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. So, there's something I need to ask you. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Your group came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturgis, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen. But I think you can. That means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Okay. I'll do it. It's gonna be a lot of responsibility. But I know you'll make this place better. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, <laughs> there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new General. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. There's another settlement that needs our help. I hope you can get to them quickly. We need to show people that the Minutemen are back. What the heck is this awkward? Why is it just a close-up on my face? I hope you can help them. We've got to show people they can count on the Minutemen again. Okay, there's the Green Top Nursery. I do probably need to do these. I'm going to max out the companionship with Piper, and then I'll probably take Preston. I've never taken Preston out, uh, so I'm kind of interested to see how he, how he, how good he is and what he, like how he rolls, I guess. That's kind of what I'm interested in seeing. Um, what should we do here for the rest of this episode? Oh, the Green Top Nursery is kind of out here. I want to go do this Museum of Witchcraft, but I'm like not That's a, level. Where to? You know, you look like you could really use this. These things have literally saved my life. Are things all right between us? Well, I gotta say, I like the way you've been handling yourself out here. Commonwealth's not an easy place to do the right thing, but somehow you manage. Your thoughts? Just think what a group of mutants with nukes could have done to a place like Diamond City. Or maybe don't. Nothing else for now. Sure. Okay, you know what I never picked up while I was here? 
and I completely forgot it, was the Your Special Book. So, hold on. Oh, crap. I don't know what I need badly. Um, we are going to go into Endurance. That was a random guess, but we're going Endurance, and now i got to live with it. But I needed more AP, because this crap is just ridiculous. Um, but we need to work on getting Piper maxed out. I forget what her quest all entails. Or does she just... You just hit maximum bond with her all of a sudden. Um, but we'll go ahead and do that. Maybe I'll do Paladin dances off camera. All you gotta do is keep entering and exiting power armor. Unless they fix that. I still haven't... I didn't do whatever on my main profile, which I kind of regret if they did patch it. But I guess what we will do in the next episode is we'll head down... Um, I guess we'll head towards the, the sea. I guess we'll do that. Maybe, maybe I'll go and help... The, maybe I'll do the Minutemen stuff for a few episodes, and then we'll uh, then we'll head to the Glowing Sea. Once I max out the thing with Piper and I can take Preston out, maybe that's what we will do. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. A little bit shorter of an episode, uh, but I hope you all enjoyed. And in the next episode, we'll probably be doing the Minutemen stuff. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.